Shani, welcome to Catalyst Tarot NZ. I'm here today to do your roll the dice. See who gets the you versus them for the day. Let's get into it. I'm not even gonna fuck around today. Oh, disclaimer, I swear. I might not make sense. And yeah, it is what it is. Take it or leave it. Welcome to oh Scorpio. Scorpio. Um Fuck. What can I say, guys? It's all about Scorpio today. So Scorpio is going to get two reads. Um, <clears throat> I think today we'll do you versus them here on Catalyst Tarot NZ, and then I'll go off to Scorpio and can I do a nine card spread? How about that? So sorry, everybody else, but your turn will come. We are going to do a you versus them called Scorpio. Yeah, so how is everyone? Oh, why are these cards messed up? How are you? Welcome to my new subs. If you hear any noise in the background, it's my partner. He's doing his TikToks. Uh, kids should be nice and quiet with their schoolwork. All right, stops. Wow. 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 What the fuck? Okay, the, the moon's in Gemini, and I don't know what's happening, but it's pretty, it's a little bit messed up, like, you know, the twins, the, the dark, the light, the, the happy, the sad, the yes, the no, it's all of that, but Scorpio, the overall energy is you. Why, 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 oh, why, I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right, let's get into it. So overall energy is transformation. It's about making the change. It's about growing. It's about evolution. It's about um, cutting out the old shit, you know, like it's like you're rectifying yourself in a positive way. You're telling off something that doesn't serve you anymore. And this is the energy of both you and your person. Super strong energy, Scorpio. Scorpio in a Catalyst to write NZ read. And Scorpio has their own channel. I don't know. All right, what's your person's feelings? They've got a lot of feelings. Okay. Scorpio's person's feelings, please. <clears throat> right. Just one at a time, please, for it. feelings. They're hiding their feelings, Scorpio. They're not hiding their feelings. <laughs> four sorts. Four sorts. Person's feeling four sorts. So they're in a time of reflection, a time of, of meditation. They're in a time of looking within themselves. Their four of sorts is taking a time out. Um... <laughs> Scorpio, you've got the Ten of Pentacles as your feeling, so you, you're feeling complete, like, um, yeah, I got my shit together, I know what I'm doing, I know what I'm doing, Ten of Pentacles is very stable, it's very <clears throat> grounded, okay, and Scorpio, you are about money, Your person's having a rest, and you are really, I feel like, kicking ass. Like, you're you're the, the king of your castle, you, well, I'm hearing master of the universe, that's fucked up, but Scorpio, it is what it is, right? Um, you know what needs to be done in order to keep your house clean and tidy, if that makes sense. Alright, this person's next move. Nine of Pentacles, cool. So your person's taking their time uh, when it comes to growing something. Uh, when it comes to their money, when it comes to their business, when it comes to their stability. They are, uh, their next move is just to take it nice and slow. 
they've got very slow energy here okay they're feeling like rest time time out if I'm gonna do anything I'm gonna do it nice and slow that's your person's energy Scorpio what's your next move it's, it's just like what the hell? okay seven of pentacles okay so your next move is to be patient is to wait um, you know for the fruits of your labor to start appearing so whatever effort that you're putting in I mean you're feeling like the ten of pentacles so you feel like you've done all the work that you need to do you've done the groundwork yeah. and now you're waiting for whatever's to come next like you know that the things that you have instilled in this connection have yet to show face um, this is you waiting, happily waiting, patiently waiting for the penny to drop. But you'll pick that penny up and you'll use it, right? Ten of Pentacles. There's a lot of change here. <clears throat> okay. You're right, your person's, <laughs> your person's desire, I wasn't going to take them. But your person's desire, King of Swords, Nine of Wands in Reverse. Your person is very determined. Uh, they could represent the attributes of an air sign, meaning very analytical, very, very... Um, their mindset is clear. Like, they know exactly what they think. They know exactly what they want to say at all times. King of Swords. The Nine of Wands in Reverse is really about not being so defensive, not feeling so wounded, not feeling sad, not feeling pressured, not feeling sensitive to anything. King of Swords is not sensitive. He's not a sensitive king. If anything, he's cutthroat and he is determined. And um, yeah, he really shows his analytical side, the King of Swords. He knows what he wants and he will get it. Mentally, he will get it. But Nine of Wands definitely putting down um, any type of wounded warrior energy yay for your person and you know uh, death card overall energy is where that change is coming in that transformation I feel like your person Scorpio is really really making a change it's just, if they know it's a slow process they know that they have to have this time out um, whether it's for them or for the connection to focus on self um, and they know it's going to be a long process which is fantastic while you Scorpio are all in your dollar bills y'all <laughs> you're patiently waiting what's your desire Scorpio what is your desire you've got a desire I think you're keeping an eye on all of your how things are transforming for you how you're you're looking at things a bit differently when it comes to your money and your home You've definitely invested somewhere. <clears throat> Why do you have to always be so fucking complicated, Scorpio? I don't see this as a desire. I see these two cards as they tried to come out before. But I see these as yesterday uh, for Scorpio on Scorpio Inc. Yesterday there was, um, Scorpio was going through some stuff. Okay, Scorpio was had the Three of Swords uh, crowned by the Emperor. So Scorpio was really trying to get um, control of their pain, internal conflicts, stuff like that. Um, with this here, I'm looking at Scorpio, you still have that pain. But I feel like with the Page of Pentacles here and your... All your cards are pinnacles. I feel as though your desire um, is going to start coming from fru to fruition. But I think it's got something to do with your money. It's got something to do with your job. Something to do with your um, how you make your money. It's got something to do with what fulfills you in a monetary way. Um, not so much emotional. And not so much mental either because of the Three of Swords here. Three of Swords can be third party. I'm not getting third party. Um... Scorpio, hardly ever there's a third party. You know, Scorpio slices and dices third party shit. Um, Scorpio, <laughs> we are the sign that if even we sniff a third party, 
we're going for the jugular until it gets sorted, you know, and, and I get that, and that's why people think that we're so intense, is because we, we, we just tackle it straight away, it's like, I'm not waiting for you to fucking, I'm not waiting to find out, I want to know now, is this really happening, um, you know, am I preparing myself for another heartbreak, or having to pick up the pieces again, because I trusted someone that I shouldn't have, but with this, I'm seeing from yesterday, it's a case of finding that one pentacle, that one idea, that one practical action and moving forward. I am going to clarify one more card on that. And boy, oh boy, this is going to be interesting. Two of ones. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a conscious decision. Sorry, I thought there was two cards there. So it's a conscious decision to move away from things that... <laughs> It's just downright fucking depressing, right? It's the shit that goes on in our heads and it affects our souls and it affects our hearts. So if we keep it practical and we make that conscious decision to move away from what we thought was once working to something brand new, um, it's a win-win. It's a fucking win-win. This is really cool. All right, let's get potential outcome. The world, wow. King of Wands, nice. My cups. Okay, there is definitely forward movement. Uh, when it comes to ambition and emotions the world is changed there's there's no getting out of this change with the death card as an overall you know I, I say transformation but I actually feel like it's more of a transition um, it's something that has to happen in order for this connection to to grow to uh, get to its full potential with the world cards. It's um world card. It's been able to what happened to my music? It's been able to see um to see that certain things need to end in order for them to start again. And it's the, the death card and the, the world card. It's just super, super, super strong. King of Wands, this is the arrogant, ambitious, good looking king. He's the one that gets shit done. Uh, he's a super passionate king. He looks ahead into the future. Um, let me get it right. He looks towards the future in a way that he can already see that his ambitions are going to prove fruitful, if that makes sense to you. Um, he knows that by standing in his power, doing what he loves, taking on board the fact that whatever he loves passionately violently um, th th there will be the repercussions of that will be grand they will be fulfilling okay kings don't fuck around uh, knight of cups this is where the love is still there and it's still coming in um, knight of cups is still a bit you know uh you know, he's got his armor on, but he's still got that cup, and he's still kind of serious, so although the connection may come off as very serious, and um, not as loving, the love is there, the love is there, it's just not being shown, because there's too much emphasis on, um, well for you Scorpio, it's definitely pentacles, it's where your focus needs to be on money, um, whereas your person's focus is more on coming out of uh, a state of rest or an old um, an old way of thinking, you know, like reevaluating one's thoughts by taking a time out. 
I like it. I like it. And we've got the moon underneath. Uh, it's Pisces. So it could be dealing with the Pisces. Go figure. Okay. Ah, Scorpio, double whammy. Double whammy today. Let's see. Romance Angel Oracle. What have we got? Some advice for our Scorpios. I cannot see myself. I cannot see if my hair is a mess or anything, guys. So if I do look a bit cray cray, um, it's because I can't see myself on the camera. I can see my eyes, but that's it. I cannot see my hair. It is a, a glare from the sun. I'm surprised we've got sun. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a high level of communication. Of commitment. And communication, I think. Um, it's all over this read. Uh, so, and it doesn't necessarily mean an engagement, but it does mean that you're engaging in the connection to the point where it's going to level up. Let's get that out there. Whoa. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others, Scorpio. I think it's really important. Uh, you're very good at cutting off people, even your friends. Um, and, and it's not really cutting them off. You cut yourself off uh, to the point where you're so alone. You have all of these things in your head and you're not expressing them to others. You're not having those conversations where you can reflect and make a... You can make that judgment call on the basis that you've looked at all, all areas of the situation, subject, person. Uh, you've got to give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. I think that's exactly what's happening here with the transformation of the world. I think the King of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Swords, the Knight of Cups are all representing forward movement, forward movement uh, mentally, emotionally, and... Practically, that's what I was trying to get out. That's what I was trying to get out. Right. Okay, here's some advice from the Moonology. Remember, I'm still doing personal reads, guys. 25 bucks. Make sure you go to my doubt section, and you will find the link to my website. You just go and book there, and I will see you in the emails where I'll do your read, and I'll flip you the link of your personal read. It is only privy to you. Okay. Three. Your hard work is paying off, Scorpio. New Moon and Capricorn. Your hard work is paying off. I think you've been working really hard. Um, you know, Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you've been putting in the work. And you're just waiting for it. The, the pennies to drop. I keep hearing pennies to drop. Pennies, penny will drop. The penny will drop. You and your loved ones are safe in your moon and cancer. We've got two new moons here. New moon, um, the new moon energy is that breath of fresh air, okay? It's where cycles ended and it's now starting again. Once again with the world card and the transformation card of the death card. Oh my god, where am I going? Okay, so yeah, there's a cycle, definitely a cycle closing out. Bring love into the situation. Emotions are running high. That, that was the card that just came out, that popped out. So emotions might be running high, but that's okay, Scorpio. If you're going through a transformation, which I feel you are, if that was... Um... <laughs> Did I just do that? <laughs> Itchy nose, sorry. Um... you might be finding it really difficult to bring love into the situation uh, for the simple fact that you feel, you know, disappointed or heartbroken, depending on your situation. Um, but through the situation, through this situation, either with your person or on your own, you and your loved ones are safe. And I think that means, like, no matter which path you take or what course you decide to go with, you know, um, there's nothing karmically bad that's going to happen um, because this process, it needs to happen. Like, this change needs to happen. It has to for this connection to, to go the distance. Um, 
and that's that hard work. It, it'll pay off. It absolutely will. Oh my god, that's my stomach. I must need some food. Alright, let's see, we'll get one of these. You can hear my partner's um, deep voice in the background. Oh, wow. Okay, so Scorpio, you've got coffin. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. That's what I was saying about transition. There is definite transition, transformation, ending, beginning for you um, and your person. It's just that your person is, it's quite funny, your person is um, taking control of themselves and you are taking control of yourself. And I think it's beautiful. Uh, the second card we got was paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. It doesn't get any clearer than this, um, this potential outcome where the change is inevitable and it's going to project you both into ambitious and uh, emotionally fulfilling um, path. This transition and transformation has to happen in order for there to be happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, owning your, um, owning yourself in a way that you feel good about yourself, and enjoying each other. I like this, Scorpio. I'm really, really curious to see what you're going to get on Scorpio Inc which I'm about to go and do. Um, but I think I'll do a nine card spread instead of the you versus them over there because <laughs> you just got a you versus them and you are welcome. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you later. Make sure, you know, if you want a personal read, da, 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 you know the deal. And hi to all you new people that are watching. Please make sure to subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll see you again soon. Oh my God, I'm just so like, ugh, ugh, love you. Bye.